hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you the review of havoc os 3.3 which runs on android 10 on this redmi note 3 which is amazing and it's very fluid so let's not waste much time and let's begin okay so guys first of all let me show you that this in this settings option the android world the device is redmi note 3 the android version is android 10 and havoc os version is 3.3 the security patch level here is march 5th 2020 which is was as expected and the build date is here as you can see april 5th which is the latest one available for the havoc os 3.3 okay guys let me show you some features in the settings okay, the first of all let me show you the advanced controls 2 which are the typical me features the first here the the me sound enhancer which enhances and optimizes your audio quality and you can choose the headphones type then as you can see the haptic feedback it uh, just uh, increases or decreases the strength of the vibration and next the display color calibration it calibrates the display color you can increase or decrease the saturation the value the contrast red blue and green colors and you can do a whole lot of customizations here now the performance settings here includes the four options of balance performance battery and gaming yeah, of course the balance is the ba all means the balance the of performance average battery life and performance is balanced if you select the battery then it will give you a battery backup of more than enough of time if you choose the performance and gaming then it will improve the PUBG performance of gaming okay so now the customizations for the havoc os because configuration center if you go to the status bar then you can do the customization of status bar like here you can see the brightness control it will control your brightness through the status bar if you swipe right and left it will increase or decrease your brightness level it has the double tap to sleep if you double tap on the status bar it will the display will turn off you can see the network traffic it will show the traffic network the speeds of the network on the status bar next here is the quick settings the quick setting panel the, that you i can access uh, you can increase or decrease the rows and columns here customize the rows and columns lock screen you can do lock screen customizations you can do double tap to sleep if you double tap on the lock screen that it will sleep, turn off the display next is the ambient display that is a very cool feature i am i am addicted to it too because i need to get to see the time whenever i pick up my phone that's a very good feature here you can tap to you can keep it to double tap when you pick up or hand wave okay so let let me show you yeah, this is the ambient display and which is a very good option so next are the buttons you can customize your hardware buttons here if you want to turn on the navigation bar then the on screen navigation bar will turn on okay I have here the options of two button navigation which was the pi one and three button is the audio one and the gesture navigation are the newly included in the android 10 which are very fluid and runs super greatly super fluid on the smartphone if you okay so now as you can see here when you swipe you can see the arrows this can only be seen when you turn on the navigation bar to the gesture navigation uh, you, as you can see here but if you turn on and keep turn on the hardware buttons then also the gesture will work but the back gesture will not work but if you turn on the navigation bar the hardware buttons will disable and only the navigation bar will be on but if you turn off it then both will work that's what i prefer yeah, the back gesture will not work 
if you turn off the navigation bars then these are all the pretty much same options gesture option customization here okay the camera here is this stock camera this is the snapdragon camera and it works perfectly fine the photos here yeah i high quality and it works fine the video quality here is you can record till 4k and that is very good that is out of my mind and it works perfectly fine without any lags and that is very good and now you can see that in the manual camera the camera to api is also enabled here which is great and you can also run the gcam here i can't find the google camera version 6 6 but i have installed the google camera version 5 the google camera works but it lags sometimes and if you click the photo constantly then it will hang and you need to you will need to restart your device so be aware of that but the photos and videos are working fine but the 4k is not working in the google camera there is the portrait mode and it is also working fine but i i would suggest you to use the stock camera because this google camera is not the stable I will find the another one and will include the link in the description. Okay, so guys, next in the, the notification, you can see here the option edge lighting, which is a great if you are using the ambient display. Whenever the notifications come, the edge lighting will appear on the ambient display. Let me show you. As here, you can see this type of edge lighting will be done, and that is amazing. and you can see the fingerprint here is also working fine it's slow but is working fine so guys next is this gestures and the gestures include the normal gesture the swipe to screenshot means three finger swipe to screenshot and this gives a also a haptic feedback which feels nice and you get the touch screen gestures the haptic feedback if you want to turn on or off so next is the system animation and you can also customize the system animation like the activity open animation activity close animation task open close animation and you can pretty much customize that also like the slide in bottom slide in top animation that's amazing you can do so much of customization there is also a gaming mode included here which will boost your performance but it will drain the battery fast all and you can see here there is a inbuilt screen recorder that will record the audio you can uh, not internal audio but the external audio through the microphone and the another option is show touches and that will show the touches on the screen next is this stop dot means the red button to stop the screen recording Okay let's talk about the battery life the battery life here is you know average it's uh, not that amazing the screen time here is 3 hours and 47 minutes and it's still 41% battery life so average it's like about you will get around 5 to 6 hours of battery life and that's enough for this 4 year old device the four idle time is you can see 17 hours 29 minutes and there is 5% battery drain and that is decent battery life yes guys as you can see here the gestures work so smooth and it's amazing to see that it works smooth smoothly it's butter smooth and all the basic features like the wifi is working fine mobile data is also working fine 4g is working flash light here is also working fine there are no major bugs here everything is pretty much working fine Okay so guys next the uh, in the display settings uh, you can see the dark theme it means the dark mode and this is the styles and wallpaper this includes the customization here the icon color size shape you can also customize your own one and you can customize the clocks you can get the customizable clocks here You can set the wallpaper from here. 
the option double tap to wake and that's a great for these one phone whose power button is not working okay next in the settings of sound and vibration and the vibration and haptics you can also customize the vibration like the, the, you can have you can see these five options you can customize the vibration the vibration next is i don't know why but when i installed the rom i saw that uh, there is no digital well being included i don't know why but i can try installing again and see if it includes then okay so guys that's it for now if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then subscribe to my channel uh, and if you want the installation video tell me in the comments section and whatever you have questions you can ask me in the comment below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye